What up, Reader Fam? Today I am bringing you my most anticipated releases of summer 2017! I don't know why I felt the need to say that so intensely, but it's going to be an intense summer full of intense reading. So let's just go with it. Now really there are only five releases that are coming out this summer that I am super stoked for, but know that there are quite a few other releases happening. The ones that I'm going to share with you today are just the ones that I am personally so stoked for. This video is in partnership with Penguin Random House, but without further ado, Let's get started. Let me share with you my five most anticipated releases of summer 2017. The first book on my list is One of Us is Lying, and this book came out on May 30th. This book is basically The Breakfast Club, but with thriller vibes added in there. And I don't know about you guys, but I love The Breakfast Club, and I love the idea of this kind of breakfast club concept with a little bit of a thriller vibe added to it. It's just really piqued my interest. So we have several different people from these different cliche high school groups. Groups. We've got the brain, the beauty, the outcast, the athlete, and the criminal. So they're all in detention, and by the end of detention, one of them is dead. Simon, who is considered our outcast, has somehow died by the end of detention. Simon died on a Monday, and on Tuesday he had plans to reveal all these scandalous things about the people he was in detention with. So this automatically makes everybody who was in detention a suspect in this case. Either one of them did it, or they're being framed by the killer. This concept just sounds sounds so interesting to me and I can't wait to see how it all plays out and I'm just really curious to find out who actually commits this crime. If none of the people in the detention did it, how did they not see it happen? What kind of distraction was caused to where they could not see Simon being murdered? I'm dying to know! The next book on my list is Our Dark Duet coming out on June 13th. Victoria Schwab, as many of you guys know by now, is one of my all-time favorite authors. Even though I haven't read all of her books yet, I know I am the worst. There are like three books of hers that I have yet to read and I really need to get on that and read them. So this is actually the sequel to This Savage Song and also the conclusion to the Monsters of Verity duology. So I'm not gonna say what this book is all about because hi hello spoilers! Not about that life up in here. But if you want to learn more about this duology, I did a pretty top-notch book review of the first book, This Savage Song, so I will leave a link down below to that video if you want to go and check that out and learn more about this duology. The next book that I really want is Want by Cindy Pond coming out on June 13th as well. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know that much about this book, but I read like a one-liner and it just hooked me. I wanted to read this book right then and there. I kind of know the general idea of the story, so basically it's a sci-fi thriller, and we follow this group of teens who are out to save their city after this massive plague has started to break out. I feel like I haven't read too many sci-fi books and I've been looking to read more, so I definitely want to pick up this sucker and read it. I also want to read it because it's a thriller set in a sci-fi sci-fi setting, and that just sounds really thrilling to me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Next on my list is Because You Love to Hate Me coming out July 11th. I'm super excited for this anthology to be released into the world, and that's mostly because I'm in this book, guys. I somehow worked my way into this book. Mind you, it's a tiny little section. Tiny, tiny! But I'm still in there. So if you don't know anything about this project, it's an anthology where 13 booktubers teamed up with 13 authors. The booktubers provided the authors with writing prompts, and they took those prompts and turned them into short stories. And this anthology has a focus on villains. <laughs> Let's be real, I wouldn't be a very intimidating villain, but that's okay. I don't want to be a villain anyways. I got the opportunity to work with Victoria Schwab on this project, which I mentioned earlier. I'm a big fan, so it was kind of a big deal to get the opportunity to work with her on this thing. And the villain that we snatched up is Death. So get ready for an epic story about death from Victoria Schwab. I haven't read any of the other stories yet, and I haven't read any of the other booktuber sections yet, so I'm really excited for this book to come out so that I can devour it. The last book on my list is Warbringer by Lee Bardugo, hitting shelves August 29th. I have been excited for this title ever since Lee Bardugo announced that this was happening. I just adore Lee Bardugo's writing, and I honestly think that she's a master when it comes to the craft of writing. So I really cannot wait to see what she does with Wonder Woman. I believe this story takes place before Wonder Woman is actually Wonder Woman and when she's just Diana, and it's when she's the princess of the Amazons, and she really wants to prove herself to her sisters, but she quickly finds out that that is not an easy thing to do. And she gets herself in trouble by breaking the law. Dun dun dun, Wonder Woman, get it together. That's all I know about this book, but Lee Bardugo was writing it, and that's enough for me. That's all I need to know. So those are five of my most anticipated releases coming out summer 2017. You guys should hit me up in the comments and let me know the books that you are anticipating. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. 
I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to be notified as to when I post new videos, go and hit subscribe or go hit that bell icon and you'll be notified as to when I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye-choo!